Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have square root of m plus n equals to 7 and m plus square root of n equals to 11. So here we solve these two equations and we find the values of m and n. So here you remember one thing is that our m and n must be an integer. So uh, here uh, first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now in the next step here first we subtract these two equations uh, so here when you subtract the equation number one with the equation number two so it means that its left hand side is subtracted with uh, left hand side and right hand side is subtracted with right hand side so uh, here is square root of m plus n is subtracted by m plus uh, square root of uh, n and similarly in the right hand side we have this is 7 minus 11 and we know that 7 minus 11 equals to minus 4 and now in the next step here we need uh, some simplification so that here first we multiply this in minus sign on both of these terms and it will be written as square root of m plus n minus m minus square root of n equals to minus 4 and now uh, in the next step here first we multiply both of the sides by minus 1 in order to remove this negative sign so that uh, when we multiply both of the sides by minus 1 so the above equation is written as minus times of square root of m minus n and plus m plus square root of n equals to 4 and uh, now in the next step here uh, we just uh, rearrange the terms and here uh, we combine or we make the pair of a square root term and the remaining term so that here we have the square root terms are uh, square root of n minus square root of m and uh, the remaining terms are this is square root of n minus m and here you have this is positive term uh, which we write it here m uh, and here you see that this is first over uh, the term involves n so here we uh, write the first term which is involves n so that we take common negative sign from both of these terms and it will be written as uh, n minus m equals to 4 and now in the next step uh, here uh, you focus in the uh, first factor we have uh, both of terms involve square root sign but here uh, any uh, can any one of these terms cannot contain the uh, square root sign so that here we rewrite only this factor as this is square root of n minus square root of m which we write it as it is and we write this expression as square root of n minus square root of m equals to 4. Uh, sorry, uh, this is uh, here we just write the square and square root at the same time on these two terms. Okay, so uh, here when you take square and square root at the same time, it will be written in this way. And after that, uh, here we use the nice. Uh, a square identity and you know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice formula uh, to the above term uh, so that our above term is written as a square root of n minus square root of m minus here we use this formula to this term only and it will be written as square root of n minus square root of m into square root of n plus square root of m equals to 4. So uh, now in the next step uh, here you see that we have square root of n minus m be the common factor so that we just take it common square root of n minus m and the remaining terms are 1 minus square root of n plus square root of m and this whole equals to 4. 
so uh, now uh, here you focus on uh, both of the sides so in the left hand side we have uh, two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor and it is four so here we find uh, the possibilities in which we uh, write the right hand side in the product of two numbers okay so uh, here uh, we have the possibilities in which the product of two numbers is four r this is 2 times of 2 is 4 and 4 times of 1 is 4 and 1 times of 4 is 4. So we have these three possibilities in which you get the right hand side is 4. So now we uh, compare these left hand side with these three possibilities. So uh, here we just make the uh, combined case of all these three possibilities and we uh, write it as so here first we uh, equate this factor to the first three terms and then we equate this factor to the uh, other three terms so here we first write it as square root of n minus square root of m equals to so it is 2 4 and 1 we have three possibilities uh, in which we take our first factor so our first factor is n 2 or 4 or 1 similarly we create the second factor with second terms and it will be written as 1 uh, here you have 1 minus square root of n here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms so it will become here minus square root of n minus square root of m equals to here the second possibilities are these and we write it here 2 1 and 4 so we have uh, these three possibilities which we can just write in uh, one form so here we uh, if we add these two equations then we easily get the value of one variable okay so here uh, when you add these two equations so this is a positive n this is negative n are gone and here we get just only one minus these are two added by each other and we get minus square root of m and here we add these two so you have 2 plus 2 becomes 4 and 4 plus 1 becomes 5 and 1 plus 4 is also 5 and now in the next step here we need to solve this uh, express this equation and we easily get the value of m so that here we move this one to the right hand side and it will be written as minus 2 into square root of m equals to 4 minus 1 5 minus 1 and 5 minus 1 here we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 1 so we subtract it all of these terms and it will be written as 3 and this is 4 and 4 after that we divide both of the sides by minus 2 in this way so here we need more simplification so this is cancelled out by this one and we obtain square root of m equals to minus 3 over 2 and here you have uh, this is 4 over minus 2 is uh, minus 2 and this is also minus 2 so here you see that uh, only this is not an integer okay so only this solution is not an integer but these two are integer solutions so that here we just rejected this case because we find only integer values of m so we rejected this case and we proceed here this case only so uh, we just equate square root of m equals to minus 2 and now here we take a scaling on both of the sides in order to eliminate the square root sign so we get here m equals to minus 2 square and we get the first value of m equals to 4 and now we substitute this value of m in equation number 1 so when you substitute it in equation number 1 and our equation number 1 is square root of m plus n equals to 7 so here we put the value of m and we easily get the value of n so we have this is square root of 4 plus n equals to 7 and we know that square root of 4 is 2 plus n equals to 7 
and here we easily get the value of n equals to 5 so this is also an integer and our m equals to 4 is also an integer so these are the two solutions or these are the two values of m and n and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos